you do some work in the robot industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, should we be thinking or fearing, you know, uh, robot armies and, you know, T2-like scenarios? I don't think and, the robot armies, I don't think robots that look like people, like marching into your city and gunning you down is the most likely scenario, but I think automated weaponry is part of every major country's vision of the future of combat, right? And so that can be a combination of drones and things and things that roll and some things that walk and surveillance cameras that, that, that are everywhere. I mean, it, it'll be a combination of many different technologies. But yeah, I, I think we should be worried about surveillance and surveillance apparatus being hacked by the enemy too, right? Because, I mean, there's already cameras a lot of places in London. They're not networked together as well as they are in China, but they will be, right? So you, yeah. you'll, you'll have like central repository of video camera feeds from every, every street in London, right? Now, what, what happens if some enemy of the UK hacks into that system and then uses it to control drones that, that fly around in, 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 in the street and do nasty things? To whatever people they want to get rid of, right? I mean, there, there's 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 a lot of possibilities there. The probably the physical form factor of the Terminator marching down the street isn't usually going to be the most effective way to, effective way to do things. There are some cases where it could be right? right, but some version of weaponized. Yeah, I mean that that's that's going to happen, and I mean the extent to which that plays a real role in world affairs is, is not, 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 not very clear at this point. I mean, at, at the moment, it seems more like it's, you know, drone-based warfare from the, from the air and then surve surveillance apparatus just telling human cops where to go and, 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 and what to do, right? And yeah. I mean, so you, you can, but there's, certainly there's going to be a lot, a lot of possibilities going forward. The thing is, he, even if there's a human cop in the loop, the question is how much does it matter, right? Like if it's an autonomous self-driving police car and if the weapon the cop is holding has some AI, AI override or something and that there's automated surveillance systems in everyone's apartment building and even in their house which are telling the cops what to do, how much does it matter that there's a human guy made of meat like holding the machine gun and and sitting in the passenger seat of the self-driving police car i mean he's being told what to do by the the infrastructure anyway we're hung up on whether there's a human making like the kill or do not kill decision but humans are terrible at making those decisions anyway right i mean humans in i don't know the uk that well but in the us i mean human cops seem to make decision of who to kill or not based on race above above anything else right i mean it's so I, it's not like having a human in that role right. among all the automated and it systems makes a lot of a beneficial difference <laughs>